Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Dreamweaver behaviors in order to do image swaps. And what our final objective is, is that when we mouse over one of these thumbnails, that we will be able to see the larger version of the thumbnail in the space where this large image is on the screen. Now, in order to set this up, first of all, I, I've created my thumbnail images. And in my assets folder, I also have the larger version of these images. So you can see, if I go to my assets folder here, you can see I've got a cupcake small, and then there is a large cupcake, right? And you can see the dimensions here. So I've scaled down a large version of an image to a thumbnail version for the cupcake and for the omelet and also for the sandwich. Okay, so these are set up on a page and first thing you need to do is I'm going to name the space that this large image is taking up because we're going to be using JavaScript and JavaScript, this is a, a behavior is a JavaScript that Dreamweaver creates for us so we don't have to get down and dirty into the coding part of it. Uh, but what in essence is happening is JavaScript is going to be looking for a particular place in order to swap an image into that space. So I'm going to just select this and I'm just going to call this big because this is the big image area that I want to target. Right? It doesn't make any difference what you call this. Just keep the name simple and something that you'll understand what it means. And so now I want to select my cupcake thumbnail because this is the image that I want to, when I mouse over this, I want it to swap with this large image, with the big cupcake image. So first of all, I need to open up my behaviors panel. So you can do that by going to Windows or Window on your menu and then choosing behaviors. And that's going to open up a panel somewhere on your screen. It's usually over to the side. And I'm going to click the plus sign to add behavior. And it gives me a list of the behaviors that I can choose from. And I'm going to select swap image. Now you can see in here on this screen that we have uh, unnamed image, unnamed image. So all of these have unnamed names except for big and you can see where the name is coming into play here. So what will help in order to be able to keep track of everything of all of our images is to make sure any of the images that we're going to use in our behaviors are named. By default since we had cupcake selected this actually selects the cupcake image but in case you click off of it and or forget which one was which, you really do want to have a name there so it's easier to, to understand. So I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to name this cupcake down in the properties panel. And I'm going to do the same thing with omelet and then sandwich. And then I'm going to come back up and select my cupcake thumbnail again and add the behavior and it's going to be a swap image behavior. Right, so now this makes much more sense. We can understand what image we're selecting. So I'm going to say I want to swap the image cupcake and it says set source to. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to go into my assets folder and the menu folder and I'm going to choose my cupcake large image. So I'm going to select choose and preload images. Preload images is referring to when your server sends this file to the browser. It sends it to the, the requester or the user's browser. It also sends images. But it only sends the images that are going to be displayed on the page at the time that the page is being sent. So what will happen is when you mouse over this thumbnail for the cupcake, by default, the server hasn't sent 
the large cupcake file. So what could happen is when you mouse over this image, it makes a separate request out to the server and says, hey, I need cupcake large, send it to me so I can display it. So then the server has to send it. And then by the time your browser gets it, then there might be a delay and it might take even longer if you have a slow internet connection. So preload images for this type of a, of a technique is highly recommended. I would always preload the image and that's why it's checked off for you automatically. So that the server will send this image to the browser along with the rest of the images. And so we're kind of tricking the browser into thinking it should cache it and that the image is already there. And then restore images on mouse out means that when we mouse over, it's going to swap to the big cupcake. And then when we mouse out, it's going to switch it back. So this will leave on for an option so that you can see how it works. And then I'll demonstrate another one without it so that you can see in comparison how that works. So I'm going to click OK. And in my behaviors panel over here, you can see it added a mouse on mouse out and an on mouse over event. So it's doing a swap image and a swap image restore, which is the on mouse out part. Okay, so let's test this and see what happens. And we can test this in Dreamweaver right by going into live view. Okay, and so when I mouse over my cupcake, oh, I get a big cupcake in the same position where my thumbnail was. Now if I had another image that was the same size that I that the cupcake was and I wanted it to replace it, that would be the technique to use, the one that we just did. But we need to reconfigure this. We'll redo it so that instead of putting the image here, we want to put it in where this big image is. So this would be the, the, the example that we just walked through would be if you wanted to swap this same image with another image of the same size or in the same location. Good for button rollovers. So I'm going to delete these just so that we'll start it again. So I'm just to delete a behavior. You can select it in the panel and then you hit the minus sign and then select it and the minus sign so that it will delete those. So now I don't have any behaviors added on. So let's walk through this step again. I'm going to go back out of live view so that I can select my thumbnail. I'm going to add a behavior and it's still going to be swap image. So I'm saying, okay, we want to take the image cupcake. Where on our screen, what image do we want it to swap this source with? It defaulted to thinking that we wanted to swap our thumbnail image of the cupcake with our source. But we actually want to swap the big image here with our source. So we had to change this to target where the new image should be swapped to. So now I'm going to change set source to, and let's say cupcake large. Right, and we'll still leave these checked off and click OK. And now live view. Now when I mouse over, that's the that is the technique we were looking for. So we can have a thumbnail, and we've seen it done quite a bit where we have thumbnails in a gallery and you want to see the larger version. And you can see that when I mouse out, it swaps it back. So that's the restore part. I kind of think that's too much. But again, it depends on your design and what your preferences are. By the way, I like to use iStock Photo for a lot of images. So I use a lot of their samples in my examples. OK, so I'm going to go out of Live View. And I'm going to come back in and set up the omelet to do the same thing. So I'm going to select the omelet thumbnail. I'm going to add my swap image behavior. And remember now, we don't want it to change it with the omelet image. We want to change it with the big image that's here. And I'm going to browse for omelet large. 
this time I'm going to turn off the restore images on mouse out so that you can see how that works in comparison. And then I'll click OK and go back into my live view. Right, so here we have the cupcake, mouse over, mouse out. Now the omelet is only a mouse over and it doesn't swap it. And you can see on the behaviors here that it just did an on mouse over. It didn't do the swap out. So that means it would stay that way and it doesn't have that flipping back and forth effect like this one does. This one goes in and it stays there until something else is moused over. So I'm going to go back out of live view and I'm going to select the sandwich and I'm going to pick to add a behavior, swap image. Again, I want to swap it with the big space here with my large sandwich. And I'm going to uncheck restore images on mouse out and click OK. And live preview. So we still have this one in and out, in and out. This one will stay until I mouse over something else and the sandwich will stay until I mouse over something else. So it's this uh, on mouse over, mouse out is all a matter of preference. But there you have it, a way to swap images with other locations and how to use the behaviors panel for swapping images.